According to Surgeon General, what? Wait, oh, never mind. This is. <laughs> we won't do that. That was. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video of the beer review. My name's Sam. Um, people were wondering. I, I kept getting. I figured most of you people knew me or read in the description. Um, but I'm Sam. Sorry, Sam. And today we are going to be doing uh, IPA beer review. And I haven't tried any of these actually, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Again, IPA is a pretty big staple in the beer world. Um, so thank you so much again for clicking on the link and giving me so much support. If you guys wouldn't mind, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me. Or so it says, again, I'm so new to this, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so today what we're gonna be trying is the Hot Bullet Double IPA by Sierra Nevada, which is a great brewing company. They Everything they seem to put out is awesome. Then we have the Galactic Double Pale, or I'm sorry, Galactic Double, blah, 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 the Galactic Double Indian Pale Ale by Clown Shoes. Um, and these, I, I've always liked these bottles. They're cool. And every single one of their little uh, things, they put their person in clown shoes. So that's a cool, you know, recurring tidbit that they add. And finally, we have the Hazy High Wire, the New England Indian Pale Ale by Big Top Brewing Company. Um, this one's cool too, it's got a little dude in the top hat. So uh, let's get right into the video. So the first one we're gonna do today is the Hazy High Wire by Big Top Brewing Company. The can on it itself, it's really cool. I, I actually, like I was just walking by, I wasn't even gonna pick, I was done picking out beers and everything. And I walked by this one and I was like, oh man, I gotta have it. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And this one's 7.5%, so it's definitely a heavy hitter. This, this video, I probably shouldn't be doing it so early, but this is when I get the house to myself. So um, I normally try to again, and I'll, I'll do this while I uh, get on with my life so you guys aren't waiting, but normally I try to improve a little bit on each video and stuff like that. So this one, I took my, uh, my forklifters advice. So Eddie, you said you would watch this video and I hung up a thing in the back to keep me on track and I've already messed that up, but at least I'm trying. <laughs> so now for the, a new segment I'm gonna start doing for you euphoria people. I'm gonna try to do the nice angelic can opening crisp. And you get a really close look at my bag dies, but let's try it. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'll have to perfect that at another thing. It just looks like a shot of my hand. So that's that. <laughs> cool. Let's pour it out, check out the color. Ooh, yep, it's got a nice hazy, it definitely is hazy. Not to be enough, I probably poured a little too much. Um, so we're definitely gonna, you know, the light, there's not much, it's actually the day of the hurricane, so everybody be safe out there. Oh, I hope, well, this video should air after it comes, so hopefully everybody <laughs> is safe out there. But there's definitely hazy, I can't see anything through it. It's really, really um, bitter, or not bitter, but dark. And uh, yeah, I can't see any light through it whatsoever. So we'll do the smell. I've adopted it in the sour video. I was actually really kind of cool because you definitely, you smell the different, you know, berries they used in it and everything. So here we go. Ooh, ooh, it smells hoppy. Ugh. Hoppiness, hoppiness indeed. So again, nice color beer. So let's give it a try. Pinkies up as always. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. That's really smooth. Really smooth. It's kind of a bit of a, I don't want to say a dull taste, but it's a subtle taste in the beginning. And then it, like you taste, you really get a big flavor of the hops right in the beginning. And then you, as you progress on through, it's just a subtle something. I'm going to go in for another swish, see if I can figure it out. Or you guys could try it for yourself. But come to me first. Oh. Wow, that's actually really, really good. Let's put that back up there. It's really, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I kind of hope this is the one I get to chug. 
Also, with that thing that I was mentioning earlier, I forgot to say that it's being held on by like one piece of tape. So if it falls and you hear a big crash in the background and I scream like a little girl, that's probably what ended up happening. So we'll read a little bit more about the can and the, uh, let's see, I guess. So there was nothing on the back. I was reading the uh, government warning <laughs> for the issue. So I'm gonna cut that out because it sounded really weird. But bottom line is women who are pregnant shouldn't be drinking this or any beer of any sorts. Um, so yeah, my opinion of this, it's it's actually really good beer. I, there's definitely, I can't exactly put my mouth on what the heck I'm tasting, but it's got a nice subtle, here, I'll take one more sip and figure it out. Mm. But it's really, I mean, it's smooth, it's different. It's different than anything I've ever tasted. It's really... It's definitely an IPA. It's not, you know, it's a regular IPA, even though it's 7.5%, which is pretty high for your standard IPA. It's very, I don't know, it's subtle. It's subtle, which is good. So that's that, on to the next one. So the next beer we're gonna be doing today is the Galactic D-IPA by Clown Shoes Brewing Company. A really cool can. Again, I love the can. I love that they add something. And if you look on their whole lineup, they had it at where I bought it. They had the whole line of all their brews and everything. And uh, they all had the little clown shoes on it. You guys could see it clearly there. But I think that's really, I think it's fun. Again, that's a nice you know, kickback. And then it, it further markets your brewing, which is the Clown Shoes Brewing Company. So this one is a 8% pint. Um, so it's definitely a little... Ooh, I'm already feeling the, the gas from the IPAs in them. But uh, this one's definitely going to have some bite. I'm definitely going to be feeling pretty good after this video. And this one comes all the way from Boston, Massachusetts. So it's definitely a long little drive. And if you're ever, I'd love to check out the brewery. It's, it would probably be super fun to do. So again, cool bottle design. It's nice space lady with some clown shoes. So very cool. But we'll do the... Euphoria crack, I'll try to do it a little better this time. I don't I don't have any nails, so I can't. Oh, that might be the money shot. Ooh, uh-oh. That wasn't that nice of a that wasn't that nice of a of an opening. I'm sorry, ear ear listeners. Ooh, that's delightful. So we'll do the pour. Um, now most IPAs should be served in an American uh, pint glass and yes, I'm using the same one. I we must have been robbed in the middle of the night because I don't know where the heck all of my pint glasses are. You just love to be on camera, don't you, Casper? So we'll we'll pour it out and uh, we'll we'll see how it smells and the color. Uh oh, woo, Jackson. Ooh, that's got a nice, rich color to it. Everything. Oh, I'm really digging that. It looks like you know your standard beer. Um, I can see through it a little bit. There's definitely, it's not as hazy as the last one. You wanna try it? You can see it. You can probably see him right at the, the edge. Casper's a fan. He likes beer. He's a bro. So uh, we'll smell it and see how it smells. <sighs> I, I don't even know if there is a smell to it. It's definitely very subtle if there is one. So I, I don't know what that imbues, but we'll find out. And we'll, you know, I'll let you know if, if the smell really affects the taste. I imagine it does. I guess most of your taste buds are through your nose. So here we go. Cheers, guys. Wow. There's not much to it. Um, ooh, well, hold on a second. There's a uh, depth. You got something to say about it? There's definitely a something, something at the end that I can't, it's very, there's a hoppiness, bitterness to it right at the end of it that's a little unsettling. So, but I mean, it, up front, it's good. It's definitely, again, it's strong. So you couldn't, you know, this is definitely meant to be a sipping, slow sipping beer that, you know, you casually enjoy. I mean, you normally don't throw back double IP. It's a very hipster beer. So if you're bad and bougie, um, this is the beer for you. Well, I don't know. It's a little, it's real. It's really hoppy. Really, really hoppy. It's not bad. Like, I wouldn't say it's, oh God. Um, I wouldn't say, I heard a 
Oh, and the thing's falling. Prefer prepare for noises in three, two, one. Yep. <laughs> um, gosh, all sorts of mishaps happening this video. We'll roll on through the punches. So it's, again, I think it's, I don't like it as much as the first one. I, I probably wouldn't get it again, but we'll, uh, before I do my opinion, I'll read the side of it. This one's nice and short and sweet, and I'm not going to read the government warning on it. Um, but their mission is to produce a beer without pretension while being free and a little crazy. Well, it's definitely a little crazy. I, it gives me all sorts of jitters when I, when I drink it and stuff. It's very pungent. I'm sorry, Casper. He did not like the thing falling down. So, uh, yeah, on to the next one. So the final beer we're going to be doing for today is the Hot Bullet D.I.P.A. by Sierra Nevada. They're brewed in Colorado. I mean, they're all over, but Sierra Nevada is a very well-known brewing company. They do a lot of good beers. I've never, I, I've tried a few over my lifetime and I've never been disappointed. Um, yeah, this one, again, is another 8% beer, so it's definitely a little, a little, little harder. I mean, again, these are going to be, D.I.P.A.s are normally heavier and there was, a, I remember when I lived in Philly, there was a kick that all I ever did was drink DIPAs, and I, I enjoyed my life very much, except for right at the end where I was pretty poor. But uh, it was it was fun, nevertheless. Philly's a good time. Um, so yeah, the can itself isn't you know too pretty. It's kind of cool. It's very like old westerny and stuff like that, and it uh, you know it's a little bland but it, you know it's the beer inside that counts but it's a little harder to you know gravitate towards and stuff especially when you're looking at you know a space lady with with clown shoes and stuff flying through the air so we'll pour it out and see what the color looks like all right final attempt on this can thing i'm sorry if you guys hate it and again i'm trying it out if you guys don't like it I'll, i won't do this again I don't know how people get that nice, satisfying, crisp noise that everybody's looking for, but I can't seem to do it. So here's the port. Oh wow, this is definitely the clearest so far. Um, it looks almost like a like a regular lager or like a you know light beer, like. I almost want to say it looks like Bud Light, but I'm, I will refuse to give credit towards that. But so overall, again, it's a nice, pretty colored beer, and uh, we'll go on to the smell. Oh, it's got a very pungy, pungent wheat smell to it. There's a you could smell the hops, you could smell it's going to be strong. You could, it's definitely an IPA. I'm not even haven't even tasting it yet, and. It smells of the sorts. Again, eight eight percent. So I imagine it's going to be pretty pretty strong. <laughs> so cheers once again, and uh, we'll get right down to it. Very smooth. Wow, that's dangerously smooth. I can't even taste anything. It's ooh. Oh, it's got a nice little bite right at the end of it. Wow, Sierra Nevada, once again, never disappointed. Excellent state to go beer or bar hopping in is in Colorado. If you guys have ever made it out to there, Denver, Colorado's got like a brewery around every other corner. This is, well, this is really good. I, oh, 10 out of 10. Hot bullet, Sierra Nevada, drink it, do it, try it, won't regret it. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Um, yeah, wow, that's really refreshing, especially for 8%. It's, I'm kind of blown away. I'm almost speechless, which is hard for me. If any of my friends will tell you, I talk, I can talk of a wazoo. Deaf people start close, covering their ears when they see me. <laughs> Sorry if that was offensive. <laughs> but yeah, this is really good. Oh man. A lot of good ones today. The the first one was really good too. Oh yeah. But uh, on to the next. So after trying all three, those were all really good. Um, it's, 
It's actually, I'm, I'm between two of them very much so, and if you guys watched it all the way through, I'm sure you know which ones. They're very, uh, they were all good. I mean, I've always been a good, I've always been an IPA guy. And I mean, they get the job done, they, they taste good for, for the most part. And, you know, you, most people respect you for drinking them. It's like, I, I love sours too, but a lot of people are like, ooh, you drink sours, oh, little baby. And it's like, screw you, man, it's, it tastes good. I'll do what I want, I'm a grown ass man. But if I had to pick between the three, and again, as always, going from best to worst, oh, I have to do something I haven't done in, in a little bit, which is retry. Mm. Boom. All right. So, high wire IP or Hazy High Wire by the Big Top Brewing Company. Definitely one. It's so good. It's got a full body through and through. Sierra Nevada, again, was right there and put you off to the side. I'm sorry. It wasn't like, like, They're all marked. The can was great, but other than that. Um, but this is. This was really good, really, really smooth. I'd give this points on being more dangerous, so to say. Like, you could really drink these and pound them. But as far as, like, IPAs and what they're meant to be, as in, you know, a sit-back, enjoyable, drinkable beer, I gotta go with the Hazy High Wire. This was delectable. It was good. It, it had a little kick right at the end of it. There's still something. I have no idea what's making it taste the way it tastes. Whoa, but uh, the hops are definitely getting to me. So it's, oh, this is a good one. Plus the can's really neat. I gotta give it to the can. I like the high wire guy on it. I like the little, um, all the big distilleries in the back and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna chug this one. And as always, um, editing magic. Um. Yeah, I did all that really quick. So I, I guess I accidentally, that just shows how good of a beer it was. I guess I accidentally drank way too much of the one beer. I mean, I definitely, I do a heavy pour. It's, it's hard, okay? I, especially when it's the first beer, I look forward to drinking and it's tough for me not to pour the full beer. So I only had a little bit left. So as a tribute to you guys, I'll be chugging the Sierra Nevada as well, just because it was really good and it's so smooth, it'll probably go down easy as well. So, thank you once again for always if you've made it this far thank you i do really appreciate it please leave a like comment and subscribe it really helps me out it helps me get through the days it makes me feel good about myself when i see views and people liking and commenting um i really want to make a thing out of this so thank you guys um hope everybody made it through safe with the storm love you good night Oh god, this was a mistake. Oh god. Uh, yep, I did it. Also, um... Ooh, I didn't mean to make that noise, that just came out. Badland Chugs. So many people, all my friends keep telling me to call you out. Uh, I can chug a beer in under five seconds. Let's make it happen. Collab, word LA Beast. Let me know. Have a good day. <laughs>